Hi and welcome to my video. This is the fourth and final part of my progress on a memorial portrait for Barbara McLagan of Ammon Bank. It was commissioned by Culture, Perth and Kinross. This video is a longer one because it covers the later stages of my portrait painting. The previous videos were comprised of nearly 30 hours worth of work. This one covers between 50 and 60 hours and it gives a total of between 80 and 90 hours of working on this portrait. So you'll understand why I've had to speed this one up so much. You'll see me add more details and building up the colour on top of the underpainting layer now. This is to bring the forms forward and add depth to the painting. It is a time consuming process and you'll see me going over a few areas more than once or twice. To find out more about this project, please take a look at the earlier videos in the series. It goes over the history of it a bit more. If you like what I do, consider clicking that subscribe button and the wee thumbs up icon at the bottom of this video. Doing that leads to more people seeing what I do on YouTube and that's a good thing because it can lead to more commissions. And I do want to keep painting. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below and I will reply to them as soon as I can. The paint I'm using here has more fat added to it now, and by that I mean it has a bit more linseed or safflower oil in the mixture, and a little less liquid. I still use liquid at this stage because I wanted to speed up the drying process. I spent a good while working on the background, the objects and ornaments surrounding Barbara before moving back to work on her likeness. I find that when I do portraits, having the backgrounds a bit more resolved before moving on to the people, helps add context and lets me judge the colours of the focal point in the picture more accurately. Here too, the wee ornaments and keepsakes around Barbara are an important part of her story, and I really wanted to highlight that. I'm adding more colour to Barbara's face now, and you will see the photo I'm working from alongside my markup sheet both taped up next to where I am painting. My approach to painting is to try and bring the whole thing to a degree of resolution together, rather than methodically finishing one section and moving on to the next. I know a lot of great painters prefer to work very methodically like that, but the way I do it helps me harmonise the painting. I used a little raw umber to mark up or bring back my drawing before painting over it again later. While I complete my first pass over Barbara's hands, I work tonally. To do this I half close my eyes, which helps me to judge the colours by their relative light and shade. Blocking them in like this helps me break down complex tonal planes and values, readying them for more detail later on. You may notice Barbara's pinky fingers are cut off on my source photograph. I ended up having my grandmother pose for me as a hand model so I could finish my work in Barbara's hands convincingly. The light coming through the glass door and the curtains in the background was quite a challenge. The different proportions of my panel compared to the photograph meant that it took a little adjustment and repainting to get the angles to where I was happy with them. A few strips of masking tape were my saving grace. Since those angles became quite a precise and obvious part of the composition and something I wanted to draw attention to.
I really enjoy how the oil paint is behaving here, where the yellowish earth tones of the raw umber underpainting are showing through the top layers of colour. It adds to the overall harmony and even warm atmosphere of the painting. It's visible in the warm yellows coming through in the upholstery and the orange undertones of the red cushion in the foreground. I'm now using titanium white for the brightest passages of paint here. It dries more slowly and is brighter than the softer lead-based white I used earlier in the painting. It helps me add a lot more contrast to the picture, but I sometimes use a zinc white for colour mixing as it's not as strong. If you're new to painting, you'll benefit by becoming familiar with the individual characteristics of each colour some of which are printed on the label of the tube, for example, how transparent or opaque it is. Other features are better learned by feel, such as how gritty or buttery a particular brand may be, or how fast it dries, which comes with practice. I was working on the teeth and some finer details on Barbara's face here. It becomes surprising how much small details matter. I remember that I later went on to adjust the positioning of her teeth just by a millimetre here and there, and I also added a bit more colour to them as they appeared a little grey or desaturated on this particular passage of paint. I used a sponge to add some texture to the fabric of Barbara's cardigan. To add too much detail to the fabric texture, I decided, would have become time consuming with the added risk of distraction to the details elsewhere. I wanted it to be a foil for the resolution of the ornaments in the background to her scarf and brooch. I really enjoyed painting Barbara's brooch here, the colours in the stone being apparent in the rest of her outfit and the Celtic knotwork. It's a lovely personal touch, another object with a story that seems to be part of Barbara's personality.
One of the reasons I love portrait painting is that with a slight change of line or subtle colour shift, a personality can be altered totally. I spent a while softening some of the lines and features of Barbara's likeness, as I perceived them to be a little too bold or fierce looking. This is the pushing and pulling point, where some colours, textures and edges are pushed forwards, while others are pulled back with small adjustments. We're getting close to the end of the video now, so thank you for watching. You can see more of my work on my website, which is where you can learn more about me. That's over at barryallenscott.art. I also have pages on Facebook and Instagram. The painting itself may have been finished, but after letting the panel dry for some time, I gave the picture a coat of varnish to bring out the colours. It can make a huge difference to the vibrancy of a portrait, particularly with oils, where colours dry at different speeds. This makes some shiny, and others can become a little bit dull. Varnish brings them all back up to the same level. The varnish I like to use is breathable and completely removable so it adds some protection. I'm very grateful and thoroughly enjoyed the opportunity I was given to paint Barbara. I hope I've been able to do her justice and it was a pleasure to get to know her in my way through paint and I hope this gives others a glimpse of her spirit too.